silence, you lot! Can't you see we've got company? Now come in, come in, my little friends. You've no idea how much I've been looking forward to these little Friday sessions. <laughs> Did I say Friday? I meant Fright Day. In fact, I can promise you that when the great game begins, we are all gonna have a ball. A fire ball. some warning of what he's up to. I keep getting pictures, but no sound. Oh, this techno magic. What did I tell you? You use this, you're as bad as him. Hmm. Well, you may be right, but we've got to fight fire with fire. And by the look of things, he's amassed an awesome amount of firepower. Speaking of which, it's time we brought our own weapons into play. You want challengers now? Well, of course now. The path is open, so let's get dungeoneering whilst there's still time. Okay, okay, all your donkeys. This I like. No trickery, just straight magic. Enter Stranger! Ah. Oh, Trigger, look, all oh, this works better than ever before we get one. Now we get all four. Now we get confused, I think. All right, Ooh. which one of you goes dungeoneering? I am. And who are you? Richard Howes. Oh, hello, Richard. And how old are you, Richard? Fifteen. Fifteen. Let's have some names for the rest of your band. This tall person. My name is Rowena Baker. And this medium person. I'm Rebecca Payne. And this smaller person. I'm Angela Bennett. Where do you come from? Bracknell in Berkshire. Well, ladies, make your way to the pool. You'll find note-taking equipment there. Richard, you stay here while Majida gets your equipment ready. Oh, sure. I carry water. I chop wood. Oh, I yes. have to get rid of small rodents. Never a day off, I tell you. Perhaps you better step just down one step. <laughs> now, here's the knapsack for collecting food to restore your energy. And nowadays, you can also carry clue objects in there. But you can still only take two at a time. And now the ice shoe. That's right. This will show us where you are, but I'm afraid it won't show you. And now, a new gift of magic. This is the wand called Reach. With it, you can push, touch, and open things from a distance. Use it, but don't lose it. I should put it in your knapsack. Now, listen, Richard. The dungeon dimensions below do not exist as a real world. So we must blindfold you with this helmet to prevent you from being destroyed by illusion. And your yeah. friends, they watch safely from here and they be your eyes. Only through magic can you see your own path and that magic must be earned. Well, you're about as ready as you'll ever be, so Majida! Oh, yes, here we go. I can tell you that your mission is to recover the crown. The gate opens. The visor closes. Good luck attend you. Now, concentrate on the pool, you three. Gain on! Okay, Richard, you're going for some tubes and it's straightforward. Yeah. And there's darkness at the end. There doesn't appear to, see, to be any danger here, Richard. Would you mind walking up a little bit faster? Well, this is through eye shield, remember, now. Yeah. Stop, OK, Rich? <gasps> oh, okay. what the devils is that? OK, one step forward, Richard. And where there's one, okay, what was that? there'll be more. It's a dragon. Um, now, listen, team. These snapdragons, if they get a grip, it's fatal, so keep a good lookout. OK, I'm going to warn you if a dragon pops out the wall. All I'm going to ask you to do is stop. Do you want me to run? 
No. No, you did fine. Stop. Greetings, travel. Hello, Rick. Oh. Hello. I see you wear the helmet of darkness and carry the mark of the quest. A dungeoneer. Greetings, dungeoneer. Your name? Richard. Richard. And your quest? For the crown. Tell me, Richard, do you know who I am? No, I do not. My name is Brother Strange. I beg no proverbs from you in this dire place. Be warned. Little of level one remains. Now, my path lies ahead. Know you of any dangers upon it? Say, mention the snapdragons. Mainly the snapdragons. Snap? 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 Dragon? Yes. <laughs> well, one good swipe with my staff should bend them off. <laughs> Still, I'm obliged. One favour deserves another. I found this spyglass a few chambers back. Treat it with great care, Richard. And use it only when I am well clear of this place. Good luck. And farewell. OK, Richard. Shall I put it in my bag or look at it? Um, I well, want you to look at it, but be careful, OK? Yes, as Brother Strange advises, use uh. it with care. OK, Richard, hold the spyglass in front of the eye shield so we can see it. Yes, quite a neat little pad. I mean, not over-pretentious, but entirely in keeping with one's circumstances. I like the view. I really do like looking down on everyone else. Comes naturally, you know. But, Lordness, the pool of veracity, it's gone. No, that old thing, don't worry about that. It was as old as the trolls and nearly as useless. No, I've got one of these thingamy what's-his-names. <laughs> Each our eyes out with this hard old mute. Wildness! Yeah. Sixteen million colours, stereo sound, uh, auto scan and remote search across levels one, two and three. Is there no end to your brilliantness, Lord? Not in this lifetime, me old toad. But this little beauty's got one extra refinement. Automatic spyglass detection and automatic countermeasures. <laughs> I don't understand, Lordness. Means if they get cocky with a spyglass, then my defenses will automatically zap them with an 80 megawatt fireball if they hold on to it for too long. But how long, Lordness? Oh, about this long. Oh, okay, and turn it down. Which put it down? <laughs> okay, take uh you can start walking forwards now, okay? Avoid the spyglass if you can. That's it, keep walking forwards. Good. Okay, Rich, you're in a room and to your Stop. right Stop is a table. Right. Okay. Um could you sidestep to your right two steps? Okay, now move forwards. Yeah, I could see the table. Okay. Is there any food or anything on there? Pigeon droppings, there's a key, there's a bar. There's a green knife and a scroll. Okay, I can okay. read the scroll. Okay. Right. It says, green for a girl, black for a boy. Got that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what items do you reckon we should take? The pigeon droppings is in a blackish bottle, and the knife has got a green blade. Um, the key is silver, and there's the bar of gold. I reckon we should take the key. Yeah. And the bar of gold for bribery, because we need information. Let's talk about the bad green thing. Oh, um, take the knife. Knife and the key. The bar for boy, it's a new position, you take that. Well, what about the that. scroll? What does the scroll say? Um, green for a girl and black for a boy. You want the key? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's one. And uh, we're going to run out of time, so we're going to have to like decide on the second item. Take pigeon droppings because it's back for boy. Okay, take the pigeon droppings, Richard. Okay, what on your earth can make noise like that? Huh? Okay, Richard, I'm not sure. stop. So I take no, it can't step be. to your left. Get Richard out of there quick. Okay, move forward. Stop. Stop. Sort of dragon in there. Forwards. The Quickly. Won't go into the dungeon, so if it's not one of ours, it must be. Okay, so I step to your left. Right. Oh. 
Richard, you're in a room and the sparkle's coming out towards you. T towards me? Well, I'm on either side of you. Stop. I think you're safe there. You're not in the direct line of any fire. Uh, right. You're going to have to move pretty quickly. They're moving in the sequence, right? There's four holes in the wall, huh. and they're going from the left to the right. So could you make step, take one step forward, I think? You stop. They make can see where you're going out, can't you? Yes. Right. Uh, could you make a 90 degree turn to your right? OK. When I say run, I want you to run, OK? Oh, no, actually. Take a step forward and stop. I right, keep going faster until I say stop. Stop. Take a step back slightly. That's good. OK, run forward. Yes! Richard, you're in a stone room and there's a chest on your right side and there's a trigger. Stop. Hey, Traeger, what is this funny little statue in this place? <laughs> funny indeed. You're looking at a stone tribute to the famous Motley. A jester extraordinary, although somewhat big-headed. He used to call himself the world's greatest entertainer. But that was before the opposition nabbed him. Oh, you know, some of the loot in that chest looks promising. Yeah, Richard, do you want to take a couple of steps forwards towards the chest? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, is there anything in there? Of... Right. We have... Well, of all the cheeky... Oops. Out of there, cavern scum! Sorry. They're supposed to be honour among thieves, but if you can't obey the code, well... We'll have in. to settle things in combat! Ooh. Um... <coughs> I should talk to her. Say, mm, that's a nice dress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could we settle this some other way? You don't want to fight? Oh, well, not really. So you're a pacifist. shame, fancy to ruck. What's your name, thief? And what are you doing thieving from other thieves? My name is Richard, and I wasn't thieving. What were you doing? I was just looking. What are you? I'm a dungeoneer. Dungeoneer? That's a queer calling. Is that like a cleric or a healer? Certainly not a ranger or a paladin, I can see that. Myself, I'm a warrior thief, third level. And I earned all three the hard way. My friends call me Stiletta, on account of the fact that I'm very good with knives. Trouble is, I've lost my number four, my favourite. I don't suppose you've seen it anywhere. Ask her what colour it is, Richard. What colour is it? Well, the knife's green, but it's sort of swathed in a lovely little suede tan. Uh, she. Oh, um... We know where it is, Richard. Tell her we know where it is, but we um, don't have it on I us. Know, I know where it is, but you do? I, I don't have it. Oh, Ask dear. her if she'll give us some information in swap for if, where the knife if is. If you give me some information about anything on this level, I'll tell you where it is. I don't actually want to know where it is. I want it. I need it, you see. I'm, my others just aren't up to scratch without it. Now, let's see. You haven't actually taken anything from me, I don't think. But you haven't returned anything to me either. So the code says, I don't owe you anything. Now, I'm off to target practice, but good luck. OK, Richard, side step to your left. I Wait think there's minute. some sort Is that of... food there? Because Richard yeah. certainly needs it. Yeah. I'm going to direct him towards it. A couple of side steps to the left, Richard. OK, now walk forwards in a straight line. Can you see the food? Yep. OK, in your bag. It's too bad they can't do anything about this muttly. Lovely. <laughs> do you want to investigate the jester or shall we leave it? No, go over to it, have a look at it. OK, Richard, 90 degrees to your left. Don't move too close in case it's booby-trapped. OK, do you want to take the pigeon droppings out of the uh, satchel? Right. Um. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> what should we do? Here we go. OK, do you want to chuck them at him? Yes. OK. Spray them towards Oof. And so the third Chinaman said to his mate, <laughs> wait for it, what did you get for Christmas? <laughs> get it? Here. Where's me fans? Where's me audience? And where's that funny-looking bloke in the bone helmet with the red staring eyes? And where's... Oh, a dungeon here. Oh, sorry. Wrong helmet. <laughs> Maybe it's a goblin. Here, good chance for me to practice me goblin knees. <laughs> I do speak English. <laughs> I'm a dungeoneer. You're a dungeoneer? You yeah. don't speak goblin knees? No. Well then, you, my friend, are honoured, highly honoured, to be standing alongside the world's foremost comic talent, 
Motley's my name and Jesterin's my game. Yeah, da 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 boom. <laughs> so what's your name then? Richard. Richard. Richard, do me a favour, will you? What? I need to know what's been going on around here. You see, I've missed quite a lot. Well, 12 months to be exact. So what has been happening around here? Ask him what I'll give you in return. What will you give me in return? What will <laughs> I give? A couple of jokes. I might be able to help you. Any spells? Spells? Oh, I don't know about that. But what has been going on? Um, what has been going on? Tell him about, um, Lord Fear. Tell him what about Lord Fear? <laughs> and he's got that view screen over all the levels now. Yeah, tell him all the eyeglasses are booby trapped. Oh, um, Lord Fear has booby trapped all the spyglasses with fireballs. Yeah? Um, there's a couple of red snapdragons. Yeah. And there's yeah, a couple of snapdragons around. In the dwarf snapdragons. In the dwarf tunnels. Oh. Have you met anyone else around here? Around. Uh, who, what was what was the woman's name? Stiletta, the, uh, I think. Uh, I've met Stiletta. Stiletta. Now I've heard about her, Richard. She has all the combinations to the floors and doors. Very useful person. Yeah. Anything else? Mm. Anything else? Um, and there's a strange monk wandering around. Brother and, Strange. Uh, Brother Strange. Oh. Now listen. Where are you off to? Level two. Level two. Do you want a hand? Yes, please. Yeah? Well, I think I can remember the way. Now, we'll just turn you around there. There is a door over there. Oh, I tell you what, oh, does your back no good being a statue? <laughs> <laughs> OK, through there. Oh, Richard, me feet are killing me. But here we are. The great trapdoor room, yes. Now, this is the entrance to level two. Well, it used to be. Oh, it is. But it's covered with this puzzle. What are we going to do? Let me have a think. I'll tell you, it's that stiletto woman you need. She's very good at these sort of things. Oh, I don't know if I can help, but I'll try my best. You just wait there. Here, yeah. Richard, there's only one thing that makes a noise like that. And I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not standing around here to be someone's dinner. I'm off. Bye. Pray God, it comes. The monster, it comes. I'm afraid you're right, Vegeta. You've got to solve this team out quickly. Oh, good. A tasty helping of dinner. Now the only question for us is, cooked or raw? I'm afraid that's the end of your game, girls. It's not fair, Traegar. Without this Stiletta, there's really no way out of level one, huh? Sadly, not. Now Richard's feet are upon a different path, so I think it's time for you to join him. Majida? This way. Bad luck, girl. But a good try. OK. Bye. Good luck. Majida! No time for looking back. We must go forward now. I got it! I got it! Enter, stranger! Oh, not so fast. We want you keen, but not that keen. Now, which one of you is the dungeoneer? Me. And what's your name? Daniel Saka. Daniel, all right. Daniel, come over here now. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve? We need names for these small persons too, huh? Gideon Morris and Wood. Justin Kett. Benjamin Grossman. Well, we've already lost one team. We can't waste time, so down to the pool, advisors. You'll find note-taking equipment there. Majida, the equipment. Ah, now, Daniel, this is your knapsack for food to restore your energy. Now, nowadays, you can also carry clue objects in there, but only two at a time still. And this, this is your eye shield, which will let us see where you are, but not for you, huh? Now, this is something new. This is the wand called Reach. With it, you can touch, press, and open things at a distance. Now, look after it carefully. Put it in your knapsack, I think. And finally, yes, finally, the helmet. This is to prevent you being destroyed by illusion. From here, your friends can watch safely, and they be your eyes, huh? Oh, he's squashing your nose. Right. Now, do you feel ready? Yes. All right. Majida? Okay, here we go. 
I can tell you that your quest is for the sword. The gate is opening. The visor closing. Well, good luck to you, Daniel. He's away. Look to the pool, boys, because it's game on. Can you can you describe the room? Yes, Daniel. Could you walk forward a bit more, please? And it, some more, bit more, bit more, bit more. Right, stop. Okay, you're in a dark cave with um with arches. Sort of, we can see three at the moment, and it seems to be going through. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, to see at the moment, so would you walk forward? Daniel, have I got some bad news for you? You know, last person who were in these dwarfish tunnels, he nearly got his head bitten off by something snappy, huh? <laughs> she's talking about Snapdragon steam, and she's right, there seems to be a plague of them. <gasps> Stop! Oh my God. Walk forward quickly! Run! 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 Okay, Dad, could you walk forward, please? Yeah. All right. You're in a sort of castle. Shall I stop? Stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in a castle courtyard, it looks like, with two windows. Yeah, two windows of and castles. a door um, straight ahead to your left. Um, 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 but there's a table um, to your right. So could you sidestep that way until we say stop, please? Keep going. And walk forward, please. Yeah, I can see the table. Oh, fine. Uh, could you tell us what objects are on the table, please? There's a scroll, a crossbow, mm -hmm. a horn. Mm -hmm. It looks like a type of necklace. Mm -hmm. um, there's a gold bar. Open the scroll. And mm -hmm. there's a spy mirror, I think. OK. Could you read the scroll, please? Read the scroll. Hold well on. The I'll spell this one out. The A C M E self operating danger horn. Danger horn, did you say? Yes. The Acme self operating danger horn. That's what it is. M K five instructions. Do not blow. Don't well, you can take two, T. Okay. Yeah, I think the horn, it says here, it, it gives a hint with the horn, but, um... Take the cross gives a hint, take the gives a hint of the horn, but it's obviously meant that we're the not gold. supposed to use it, but we're meant gold. to give it to somebody. Um, um, so go on. Okay. Um, I think we should take the scroll. Well, um... Yeah, yeah, don't take anything yet. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, Daniel, could you look in the spyglass, please? So why must we stop and wait for seven days to see if this team can win, huh? It's the rules of magic. So why must they get freezed up for a week with no action? It's the rules of magic. Is that all you're going to tell us? Yes. Okay, I buy that. <laughs> 